Legend of Total War here with part 6 of my Total War Warhammer 2 Let's Play campaign as as the Asur or Lothurn or Tyrion, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, previously, most of it was spent dealing with the shitstorm that is the Scalings. It's not fighting them that was difficult, but dealing with the attrition and the public order and uh, all those problems. But we've got control of the province, loosely. We still need to keep someone here, basically to maintain control. Okay, he should replenish over time. He'll need... I'll need to replace that cavalry. Silver helms. But the other ones are replenishing. And we need to build these regions up. It will take a very long time though. Before we can actually leave. Yeah, I mean we've still got... Still got minus nine corruption. Minus, minus nine public order penalties from corruption. See, it's that, that character there is providing so much public order. If he was to leave, the region would almost immediately revolt. Um, I don't, I don't know how we're ever going to fix this, to be honest. But um, oh well, we'll try. What are they doing? So we took out one of their black arcs there. I got more replenishment out in the water than I do. In there, I suppose. I really want to get rid of these guys, but they have so many armies. Their armies are pretty shit, though. But if they swarmed us, it's only so fast we can shoot. So, over here, we sort of tried to recover a little bit of the public order. It's not quite under control yet. He's able to provide quite a lot of public order. So, there's certain things being built here that will help. If we can get this to the next tier, which is quite a distance away, um, that will certainly help. We'll also have access to monthly festivals soon. It's not a lot, but it all, it all adds up over time. The, uh, we managed to, well, it wasn't me that thwarted the Nagarons, um, uh, ritual, but it, they were thwarted. There's Hexoadal. They need to be thwarted. I'm not too concerned about them. It's owned by... Oh, this is owned by a different faction. The For the Forgebound. It's better called the Fogabound or something like that. No, Forgebound. Um, yeah, I wouldn't worry about that too much. Okay, so... Princess of the Asur. I really want to take out their other black arc. Just trying to think what to do. I don't want to be out in the water and get caught by anything. I suppose what I'll do is I'll bring you in over here. I'll put them in force punches. And if you can stay out here and in camp, it's not much pub uh, public order growth. Uh, not public order growth, uh, replenishment. But she hasn't got the. Um, that skill that we desperately needed, the Elven Healing. We need that for regions like this. That's why we're getting it. Um, this will help. What, what else is there? Casualty Replenishment Plus. I guess that'll help. Perform that right. Set of curiosity. I never use this one. Oh, I need to make the Archive Building. But even if I did, it's like it's I don't eh, I don't need it. Champion of the Ever Queen. Uh, what, what am I doing? Just running out of stuff to, to get for him. A bit of extra speed might help. Yeah, we'll go with that. That's just for the future. Public order here just took a big boost. What regions aren't being taxed? Phoenix Gate is actually being taxed. Alright, um... I need to get you moving. So when he leaves... Public order goes down to minus five. 
It's not good, but uh, I don't know what else to do about that right now. I oh, I forgot about you. You need to get moving out here, because you can help us remove corruption. I think what I need to do is I need to get a lore master of Hoth. So I'll upgrade, I'll upgrade this to, to get it, because see, spread public order, that's what he needs. If we get them in those provinces, uh, leaving one of them behind... Man, they cost 441. But yeah, leaving one of them behind instead of... Um, let me just see. Instead of leaving an entire army. So if we got this... Hero recruit rank plus four for Lord Masters of Hoth. Alright, well, we'll wait until that's that's ready. It'll be ready in nine turns to build that up. Okay. I'm just thinking, over here, it no longer needs growth. So let's have a look what else there is to provide. I think go is the extra tax rate. I need money coming from here. No. Upgrading this here will allow us to, to reduce our upkeep on the archers by 3%. Alright. Luckily the scape and away behind. I've never looked at two settlements needed for that. It must indicate to me that, that um, clan wars mustn't have that many settlements. But it looks like they're going to succeed there. But let's have a look. Clan Moors. Where's Skaven, Skaven, Skaven? They've only got two settlements. Where are they? Oh, that's right. You can't find where they actually are because they're, they're ruins. Well, you can see that it's here. Be funny if I just sent someone down there to just go and kill him, and then that's it. You know, he's dead. Cause the Skaven are fucking weak. So one of the weakest factions I've come across. We haven't fought any in this particular campaign, but when I played as the Dark Elves, I took on three full stacks with one stack and one. And they weren't crap stacks either. Although that was a normal difficulty, but still. So badly outnumbered and still managed to beat them. Okay, so they're starting another ritual. This is why we got to get into Nagarond and defeat them. So they've got their ritual completed. That's fine. Like I said, it's okay if they do this one. It's to here that when we really need to start worrying. Give the word, Lady of the Phoenix Court. In defense of Ulf one. Hmm. Look at this, they've left fewer troops over here. Champion. Right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take Tyrion. I'm gonna We're gonna to have to get rid of them, and while it's not that well defended, I'll take I'll take these two and we'll head up that way. Defender of Ulf one. If you could just Empire. make it there and then encamp, that would be good. Yeah, we've got 50%, shit. Alright, well then, you stand out, Can I out here, assistance? and you stand here. Inspecting the garrison. Actually, I got a better idea. Why don't we... Oh, he was in force march, whoops, my mistake. Why don't we just accept a little bit of attrition? We can... We can encamp before we get there and replenish our force. Uh, stay together. Oh, actually, you. Get back in the settlement. So keep it under control. So over here, this is under control, but you know, we do have the military crackdown bonus as well. I don't know what we're going to do with this province. I cannot justify having these people sit here indefinitely. So 
want you to come over here and help us. Yes. I mean, that's, that's, that's right. I was going to send a Lord Master of Hoads to, but to just sit there. Should be able to provide us with, once it's leveled up, quite a bit of extra public order. I may need it for all of these type of scaling settlements, at least to begin with. I don't think Creative Assembly wanted you to be able to hold on to them on legendary difficulty, but I'll fucking prove them wrong. I can hold on to anything. Still not available yet. So research other things in the meantime. Should be available next turn. Okay, well then we'll... Why don't we research something and when... Something more important, that is. And, um... We'll just switch it. So, Hexaladle and Cult of Pleasure have declared war on each other. Personally, I hope the Cult of Pleasure wins. Because I'm not dedicating myself to go and take out Hexaladle and they're doing a, a ritual. We haven't done a single ritual yet, nor do we really need to right now. Foreign trespasser, it's fine. Right. Storm going on. Now we. Oh God damn it, let's see. We we could crush that army, but that would announce our our intentions. And they got nothing here though. But another thing is is that these guys are committing to fighting them out there. Who's this? Malekith is on his way. And you're... He won't be able to attack yet, but you need to... Okay, he's on force march. You need to be ready. So I'm, I'm, I need to merge some of these units because you're just, you're just not ready. Awaiting orders. Ready for orders. What would you have of me? Princess. Ready. Just, just need the one. Your command. So like I said, we won't we won't announce ourselves, we'll just Treading lightly. Just make it like we're having a stroll through the park. Forward. And we need to encamp. Preparing camp. And he's taking attrition as well, a little bit. A death hag in there. I don't think they're gonna do much. Like I said, cavalry's a bit shit in this game. Oh, where's my person? Uh, there, you. Get over here. Help us to reduce this co filthy corruption. Good. So we got 60, 65.7 percent. So it provides a, a significant amount of, uh, of counter corruption. And you, how are you going? If you were to leave, let's see how bad it is. Oh, it's only minus 12. I thought it would be worse than that. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's still bad. But there's still there's still corruption. There's also still oh, there's events. What did I do? I oh, right. So there's a number of things that's actually helping it out. Uh, it's very difficult to leave this region. I mean, with five, with three of these, that's that's fifteen extra public order. I mean, we've already got five in there, so it's a ten extra public order they can get. Plus the extra two from the tech, which reminds me, let's research that. Plus reducing, once we reduce the corruption here a bit further, that'll help. So how much money do we actually make out of, um, out of this area? 
Not enough to pay for it. Okay, I got no cash. Alright, moving on. So when it comes to this area here, let let him come to us. Oh, he wants to raid, does he? He could actually be the one that's cleansing the corruption. Um, yeah, because he can't be... Like, I, I don't know what to expect, really. I just just let it repair on it's fine. That's it, you guys go and ruin all this shit. Too far away from us. I might recruit a new army soon, but you know, don't forget, it's going to increase our upkeep cost by 15% on all of our troops, which is really fucking nasty. It's going to take us way. a few more turns to get there. Yeah, we're trespassing now. Setting forth, beginning my journey, preparing a fire, preparing camp. Do what I'd like to do. Have you come over here and just just do shit, just to get levels up? Because I, I need your help. I'm gonna need a lot of sword masters of hoax, I think. All in due time. We're, more, we're making our way towards it. So if we want to increase the number of of uh, law masters of Hoth, we're going to need more of these towers. So let's get them going. Okay, man, I'm out of cash. All right, good. Let's. Well, it's not good, but okay. Who? Who's? Need to level up. No. So I don't know what's gonna happen with that. Don't worry about it. Here we go. If he attacks us, we've got garrison here as well. We'll have more than a full stack to fight him. You you personally have already defeated Malekith before. Oh yeah, but the garrison's in shit state. But we'll get them right off the start. I'll just put them out front. He's got no artillery. We've beaten him when the odds were like nothing, so we should be able to beat him this time. I'll fucking put a hundred bucks on us. No, you know what? I'll put a million bucks on it. We'll win this. Guaranteed. 100% chance. Because, do you know how I can tell it's going to be 100% chance? Because that is what's going to happen. Ooh, he's still arrogant. He could have lost that match. Yeah, we'll see. I don't think so. I mean, look at, look at the high ground we got here as well. No, there is no hope for them. I'm totally gonna camp on the hill. You don't like that? Fucking go back to Nagarund, you shit. Let's go. And then these pers these people out in like a, a secondary front line because they're of less importance. Without fail. One thing I always liked about Medieval 2 over you know, the later Total War games is that if you're on higher ground it increases your range. But in this, I don't think it does. It's still just 360 range. Alright, let's... Wait for him. I mean, you should stay back behind the line in case their cavalry start charging up. Okay. Don't be attacking their cavalry. Hit their lightly armored troops like the Dread Spears.
They got a lot of cavalry in this army. A big concern though is that if if he keeps leveling up, like he's on a chariot now, if he keeps leveling up, he's eventually going to have a black dragon. And that's going to be really fucking hard to kill. Like it takes a huge leap up from what it, what it currently is. I got no magics or anything to use against him. Imagine our archers are just tearing them to shit. Cavalry. Not even aiming for the front line. But that being said, they're shooting up a hill, they're barely doing any damage. And what a hill it is. I don't even care if they charge into the archers, like I said. Okay, your job, you have to fight him. Silver Helms, you guys can go back, get back over here. I underestimated their cavalry. Too busy watching the slaughter that's going on over here. We're holding our ground re reasonably well. He's going through our front line here. Maybe get the cavalry to take him out. No, 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 I need the cavalry to... Don't let them charge into my artillery. Cowards. What's your damn problem? My general should be able to fight him in that way. Okay, we, we took them out. Yeah, shoot those shades. Okay, I need the, need the cavalry. Get over there. So they're definitely bringing in better armies. Like, it's the first time we fought a, this army fought against Malak, if it wasn't difficult at all. But, a lot of cavalry in this army. It's actually doing a reasonably good job. Oh shit. You get out of there. Get over there. Save the general. We're still gonna win, but you know, we're taking some damage. We've got to stop these these cavalry. They're running the muck. So any damage done to our army can easily be replaced with the global equipment. Yep, yeah, see, told you we'd win. It's just it's a little bit of a class to fight, that's all. And that's what happens with cavalry. Things turn into a clusterfuck. If we let him go, I'd like to chase him down and defeat him again later. I'll let him go. What do, you, what do you know? Heroic victory. So I didn't actually lose that many men. It just looked like things were shit because of the way the cavalry was behaving. With a heroic victory, that'll really help level you up. If possible, we should definitely try and get them. 
because we want to take Malekith out of play for a while longer, if for no other reason, just to stop him from leveling up. No, you did lose a unit. Of which ones? I guess one of these guys here got eliminated. Good, we can reach him here. He's level 16. Doesn't matter if we take a loot of attrition. Now, are we in position to to attack them now? Uh, he's not in force march. Shit. Because I may not be able to catch it. Uh, just, um... You're going to have to not force march. Actually, if they force march, we'd be able to beat them anyway, so... If we get back here... We should get at least a little bit of reinforcements, I hope. Lady of the Phoenix Court. If you win. We could, but I'll, like I said, I'll give it one more turn just because of what happened out there. I live to serve my queen. Princess. Preparing power. Preparing power. Alright, now over here. Okay. So yeah, that extra public order through due to technologies, that's really gonna help us out a lot. I don't think there's anything else we can do for public order in terms of technology, which I really do need, because that doesn't even negate the, the difficulty level penalty. Let's keep that going. I wouldn't mind getting some agreements with lizard men. That means I can get more money from trade. They lost Bear Island. Uh, Bear Island. Bear Isle. So that looks like it's going to be a fail for them as well. But as for Hexoatl, I don't know. I don't think we'll be able to stop them in time. Maybe I should prioritize defeating them. Now we'll see how we go. We'll, we'll take these guys out first, and then we will see. Nagaron's getting more powerful. Obviously, the the time from where they you know just wasted so many armies, they've recovered from that. It, it took them a long time, but they've recovered. Is this? Oh, you're fucking kidding. The wind's cool. Alright, in order to make you not insane, you actually need to leave the area for a little while. Ah, oh, you stupid shit. I don't know if I should just disband you. It says here, spend multiple turns in owned region with little to no in an owned region with little to no corruption. Shrine of Cain. Oh no, if you go over there, like, I need the public order, so... Yeah, come over here. Because we're, we're building up the public order a little bit. Because they have a... I mean, really, I should send her over here. It's kind of annoying, because she was helping me um, fix up public order. 
Well, not, well, not public order, the um, corruption here, which is obviously a big problem. Alright, so that army, the, uh, whatever the fuck they're called, they've gone somewhere else. Let's do this. Let me just see, who else hates them? Why does it keep sending me over there? It really doesn't make any sense. It annoys me that I can't click on their regions. Are you a god? So, the Cult of Pleasure hates them. Let's have a talk to the Cult of Pleasure. Morathi. Because they don't necessarily hate Be me. Be quick about it. If I offered to join the war against Akhol, if you could declare war against Nagarond, and if I was to pay you. They won't do it. Okay, well, I'm not going to get anything out of it. Don't worry about it. So their allies are the Hmong. Alright, I don't want to go to war with the Hmong. So I will actually speak to yes. the Cult of Pleasure. Be quick about it. And I'll pay them if Such I have to. Delight. Luckily I don't have to pay them. And that way I don't have to go to war with... with Mung. None shall live. To battle. Okay, you can win this on your own, but I'll... The Kadai watch over us. Send in, um, Tyrion. And then you'll sail back the other way to take out the, um, the other settlement. Get moving out of the sea. I mean, this will be closer to revolt, but it could be a good thing. This person needs more experience. Ready to serve. You're getting close to immortality and some dragons. Just, uh, we don't really make much money out of the settlement, so I guess just let it repair on its own. Yeah, definitely need the, the plaza for public order. So, Albion, how are we going over here? Once we've built that, then we can build one of these, and that'll, that'll pretty much get rid of about... I think it would give us to, oh god, doing the maths in my head, like 85% um, corruption, which means three pen, um, public order penalties. Alright, so the, the penalty, uh, sorry, the bonus from the right has gone away. It's still plus one even with his presence here. If he was to move, it goes down minus 17. I just don't see how we can fix this. Because corruption's at minus nine. There's buildings that provide minus four. There's more to it. There must be a hidden thing. Because it says here minus three, but I think it's more than that. I can't. I cannot leave him there by. Hang on a second. His army isn't here. Is this here? Because it might. Because he's going to be here for such a long time. Some of these units are fairly expensive. Why don't I just disband them for a little while? I mean, it's only a plus one here, though. Well, why don't we just not tax it? Because that, that'll... Guardian of the Phoenix Crown. Just one of these guys, well, two of these guys here. We'll pay for that. Direct me. And they've got no experience, so who gives a shit? Defender of the Ever Queen. And I only need this to just reach the status quo. So they end up end up with a lot more money. If he needs to stay, he does. His army doesn't necessarily need to stay. By the white All right. Tower. So you, yeah, Tyrion, just get me. Out. So there's a storm going on over this way. Anchors away. All right. 
All right, let's see what else should we do. Oh, cancel that. Where did I build that thing? Cancel it. Oh, I need 15,000 for it. Okay, well, let's just save up. Actually, no, don't save up money because this is going to provide us with a ton of cash. Whole provinces need just to pay for one of my armies. What's your replenishment rate at the moment? It's pretty slow. Okay, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna merge a couple of these because when those chaos scum show up, well, they're not gonna show up this turn, so you'll have to recruit them next turn then. right no it's just not what I need Can I offer assistance? Like, even if you're taking your attrition it's fine just I need to get moving to adventure. so you should be able to get close to the palace of ruin and then once again you'll just need to stay here but you probably won't need your entire army We'll figure it out as we go. So yeah, over here. Hang on, isn't there another building that provides public order? Maybe I was thinking of the uh, the Dark Elves. Yeah, I think I was. Just, just thinking, it might be better off, just for the time being, if we get growth going. Because this region here is just not growing very fast at all. If we could just speed things up a bit. Oh, another thing is that, eventually what we might be able to do is just move from region to region, and he might be able to manage both of them. Okay, if that's the case, let's just go with this. That could be good if we do, that, do it that way. Oh shit, I need that money. Because I wanted to build this. Well, it's not... Well, actually, it helped me get the extra influence, so... It's more important than some of these other things. At Albion over here, just... Um, I don't get much money out of it. Like I said, I really want to build that thing. When else did I start constructing this turn? Alright, well maybe I'll just... I'll end the turn here, next turn I'll be able to afford it. Okay, there's a rebellion imminent. From where? From here. Okay, that's fine.
right. Okay, wipe this out. Hopefully we can turn this into two belts, because I really need you to level up. I need to recruit. That's okay. Moving out. Maybe actually for the time being, you shouldn't recruit. So I, I could use that money. I mean, Rally to me, a just reward. Now, looking at life. this, I know we definitely need you to reduce your upkeep costs. We also need elven healing as well. I'm gonna go with elven healing to begin with. Uh, we'll go one on each. And then you can force one back over here. So that should help us restore our numbers a little bit more. Loyal servant. Before the next revolt, which... Champion of the probably won't be that long, because I'll take this. It looks like there's no defenders. We'll land here, and then we'll go the rest of the way on foot. Sailing for adventure. So they'll fail, but I'm still worried about the um about them hexawattle. I don't wanna to have to raise an expeditionary force to go over there. Zero turns. So that one's someone successful. Hmm. Um maybe after we've done this, we should get a peace treaty with with Nagarond and make our way down south and crush them before they actually win the campaign. No, 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 oh, actually, no, we still can afford it. We need this. I feel like there should be a global public order bonus in this, in this one here. There might be a building somewhere else that'll provide us with a global public order bonus, but wherever it is, we need it. I just don't know where. Part of me even thinks I should disband that. Shouldn't take them too long to get to get back under control. Because that cleansing corruption can really come handy. So they're they're the most ahead now, they've done three out of five. Wait, what was that? Severe. Okay, cool. So you move in here, how's the public order go? Straight to minus three. Uh, it, can it can hold out here for quite some time. But yeah, you I need you to be reducing. That kind of shit. And in the meantime, I guess just... I'll send you through to the Phoenix Gate, because there's no chaos... Wait, what? Events. That's not good. How'd that happen? I mean, it's just temporary. You could almost go just directly there. There's no one in the... Oh, hang on, what's this? Yeah, we really don't want to get caught out at sea. Alright, time to come off. Actually, you stay on force marching. Navigating. But you come off it. It shall be done. Anchors away. Embarking. Highborn. Defense. So now we just move along on foot. Capture this. Yeah, we 
We left it that way on purpose, so that we don't need to tax it, and so that we don't need to have heaps of troops here. Phoenix here can upgrade that. Looks like most of our buildings are... Oh, I didn't have that much money, but looks like most of them are finished for the time being. Which is good. Difficult dealing with this shit, especially on legendary difficulty. When I was playing as um, Nagaron, that was so easy to to maintain this setup. Well, it wasn't easy, but it was a lot easier. I guess it's not. You're not supposed to do this, and I think I'm really hurting myself in the campaign to do it. But like I said, the last thing we've, I've seen this happen so often in Total War. You're down in the south fighting, and then fucking scaling show up and, and raid your north. And I just didn't want that to happen. Oh my god. Nagarond and Cult of, of Pleasure has, has united. Who became insane? Who's this? Oh. For the Phoenix King. Mighty warrior. It won't it won't stay like that way forever. But still that's not good. Phoenix court. He only just got there though. Mm, Present in a region with high chaos corruption. So it could happen after one turn there. It's annoying, but what can you do? Okay, these guys are not that close. I want to um, just walk over there. I'd like to be able to. Shit. Who's this? Polish Barber dead. But he's on Force March. I'm waiting. It annoys me that he doesn't. Oh wait, they don't. They don't take like uh, frozen attrition. I don't want to force march back. If he attacks us, we just withdraw. So you need to leave this area. Come and stand over by the feeding gate, where the public order can't be affected. And once you've lost that um, that trait, then you can go back. So public order here will improve with that as well. There's a lot of regret going up this way. I feel like I should have just, just been like, fuck it, just go down into Lustria and actually go and take set territories that are worth it. Could have conquered half of Lustria by now while I'm sitting here worrying about public order. The battles aren't the problem. It's it's the goddamn public order. Okay, research available. High off industry and resource such buildings. Uh, sorry, resource buildings. Yeah, go with that. Sounds good. So Elroar, who's who's this? That's you. F I'm finding it funny he didn't become insane. Yeah, reduce those upkeep costs. And recruit that unit that you lost. Actually, no, no. For the time being, just just leave it be. What did you have of me? Right, moving on. I don't think they'll make the attack. No, I was wrong. Like I said, withdraw from that. Another time. But this time we have reinforcements. I still find it surprising that that my two armies here apparently equal them. Oh, war hydras. Damn, they're really getting strong. Hydras are very hard to kill. Well, actually, not necessarily. Um, if we if we just shoot them, they, they tank out pretty quickly. Alright. 
I hope we can get our forces together quickly. Damn. And they've got all those regions now as well, because they, um, they confederated. We have to take them out. I need some military allies to come and help me with this, because, like, I just can't hire that many armies in this. Uh, I have to... I don't know. It'd be nice if they were starting closer together, but we'll just make do. So you'll be on an eagle as well. Biggest concern is going to be that those hydras. That's probably where they're getting us. You can shoot down at them. What's your range? 180. That's actually really good. Oh, uh, but this person here is on a flying thing. I hope you're not immortal, because I would like to kill you. No, no, no. That's a bad... Don't do that. Stop. Oh, they've got artillery as well. Back off. Oh, shit. What a fucking mess. Can I just pause this and, like... Oh, it doesn't let me. Now I'm gonna get fucked up just because it's a bloody mess. I'll get set up quickly. Okay, not too bad there. No, 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 no. Stay away, stay away. Fly. You should be faster than that. I'm glad they don't have any care for their general. Take on those cold one nuts. Eager for battle. As you say. What the hell? Eagle claw. Yeah, back off a little bit. Where's where's Tyrion? Okay, yeah, come over up front. Okay, they're not far fuck me sideways. Okay, actually. You take them down. The archers, they need to be taking out the hydras. The hydras are the strongest unit that they've got, but we can kill them very quickly with, with missiles. They've basically got two lives. Once they get down to about half health, they'll start regenerating really quickly. And then we're just going to keep shooting at them all right. Split their army in half to deal with this. Okay. Our archers over here, take care of the other Hydra. Can't believe how powerful this army is already. I mean, we're up to turn 100, but I don't have this kind of shit. Oh, other Hydra. Tank it out. Destroy it. You guys... This guy's too far out. Have that this way. See... Okay, it's used up all of its healing. Moving out. It shall be done. Cold one knights are actually pretty strong. Princess of Old One. It'd be good if you could actually kill it, so we don't have to fight it ever again. As in this particular one. That one over there died. Okay, you guys take them out. There's Tyrion. What happened to that other, like, hero unit? Where did it go? Why don't you go take out that War Hydra? Get in over here. Victories in our grasp, good. We're gonna have to spend some time healing after this, that's for sure. Claw. 
But this probably indicates why their factions can seem so much stronger than mine. I mean, apart from that fact, they can two major powers confederated. If you could try and kill this person, that would be very good for us. This person is getting wrecked. Shoot the cold one, lads. Try and catch her if you can. Okay, I want you to chase down that Hydra and kill it. Okay, we have one. Can you fire while it's moving? Can't see much health with Scott, but they should be pretty accurate. Kill this bitch. Yeah, I have a few wrecked units. Just use a global recruitment to get back up to strength. Good. High level general taken out. Of course, they seem to have a lot of heart. And also the um, the Hydra. The other ones... What's this? The other ones I'm not too concerned about. All three Hydras ended up dead. Okay, no one died. I've got one. Just one. I'd love to run them down and finish them off. Maybe I should. I mean, he's probably gonna... Oh, no. We we've got to get away. And in camp. Now they're also doing that as well. So who's this? Malekith? Yeah. Princess and our Prince. armies are in bad shape. Alright. It can... By f Lady of Old Let's just move 50% of our movement range and encamp. Assyrian guides us. Champion well, let's just see if, if that's enough. I shall go. No, 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 no. no. So by forced march, he can't reach us. So this is a safe spot to the camp. Can I offer assistance? Preparing camp. Servant. We've got to quickly get our forces back up to strength. So that means units like units that are the most badly damaged need to be merged. Champion of the Ever Queen. The Reaper. What's he got? I'd like to send another army in here to help, but... Yeah, we'll be alright. At least you gained a level up, so that means... What? Dragon, that's what it means. Ooh, that got expensive, but it's still, dragons are very powerful. Alright, let's merge. That's and use up our last thing here. At least, it, at least it comes with more experience than what they've currently got. Denied. Weakling. Hmm. I really need to take this out. I need to take out Nagarond in general. I play bogged down in in these these fucking regions. I never should have gone to. All the time I spent wasted over here, I could have I could have taken them out. Once entire, I mean, the, the scalings didn't even declare war on me. I'm it's got an entire army stuck here. That being said, I could raise another army now.
We're in a bit of a dire situation. We need to expand. I'm going to raise another army. We're, we'll, we're better off recruiting our troops from here. Because, yeah, I can get most of... I think I get most of my stuff from here. Except for the artillery. So I can use my influence to get better generals. Melee defense for the entire Lord's army. That's pretty damn good. So that's just for him. That's not for his army. Unit experience gain per turn plus 250. Alright, I'm going to hire you. Watch that money go down. Oh, jeez, there's not much build slot. Training slots here. Maybe I should have hired him somewhere else. Well, well he'll use the global recruitment when the time comes. Actually, go for archers. Archers are cheaper. Didn't realize the recruitment slots here were so, were so few of them. Maybe I'll even attach you to this army here. What does it do? Ah, Any additional unit, not yet. Yeah. Alright, what should we do? Out of curiosity, looking at their new general that they would have recruited. No one. No. Level 4, so they recruit generals at level 4. Good to know. Alright, oh, yeah. I've still got plenty of money. It might be. Yeah, I, I guess we can afford this this other army. Good, this, this is needed, because I need the Lord Masters of Hope. We need them soon. So what does that provide again? Okay, this will give us access to, to our best infantry unit, the Phoenix Guard, which I can afford, but, you know, not, not easily. Alright, so I actually kind of need that more right now. Finances are a little bit tight. I got ten thousand in the bank. It's not actually tight. It actually is. Um, I'll save the money up and I'll spend it next turn on that because that provides a, a shitload of cash, which I need. Just a little bit concerned that. I mean, I know he can't reach us. But still, it's a bit of a concern. If I got back out on the water. It's a bad place to be fighting them because I just can't replenish very quickly. Please tell me he forced March there, because then I'll, I will fight him and I'll. I will him out. hear your words, but I make no promises of aid. Yes. Good enough. Yep, go for that. Oh, good, I'm glad Nagaron failed yet again. But it's looking like... Hexoatl. I might, like I said, I might need to take this, get a peace treaty with them, and just go down there before before they start with this one. But they're a fair distance from it. All right. So he is on force march, which was very silly of him. A blizzard. Stay together. Stay, stay in that mode. See if you just order us off, get rid of him. He can, but we'll, t we'll get very badly damaged. What's he got? He's got a dragon, a hydra, cold one chariots. He's starting to get some really good units. Black Guard of Nagarond. No artillery though. If we get our armies together, we will annihilate him. Tyrion should be coming in from the rear. It's important that this person gets levels up now because Tyrion doesn't really need any. There's just not much in there that's that's really going to help him out. 
He's got all the good shit. Okay, good. Comes from directly our rear. We've also got a dragon ourselves now. I'll have to come down that way. Well, let's get started. This is a good spot here. We don't want to be in the trees because it blocks shots. Cavalry stay over here. Stay, stay back. We don't want you getting hurt. What was this? Oh, breath. Um, yeah, stay back for the time being, because their dragon will wreck you, because you're, you're badly damaged. Now, to begin with, it might actually be in our best interest to use standard rounds. No, we'll see. They'll come at us because we've got the artillery. That's just how it works. Maybe not. Okay, well then we'll lure them over here because I can shoot this dragon from a distance. Uh, which is faster, my dragon or theirs? I hope, hope we're faster. I was going to get caught. Alright, this gives us an opportunity to at least reorganize while we're waiting. Let's go Lyrian Reavers. guys in formation over here. And Tyrion, you can stand it out front. So it kind of looks like they're taking a defensive position, which is weird because I've got so much artillery, usually that indicates to the enemy, that he's got no artillery, indicates to them that they've, they've got to make the move. Hiding. I actually kind of wish I was still on the eagle because I could maneuver around a lot faster. So, Dark Riders over here. Let's just shoot them. What's this? So, okay, well, I'm not using any spells, so that doesn't matter. Actually, go for the Cold One Chariots. Doesn't look like we're doing any damage at all. Good, they're coming at us. They, they got tired of waiting around. You can always count on the AI to be impatient. No, no, no. These here. Actually, no, that's okay. Oh, no, no. Get, get away, get away. Quite weak against getting shot. Just get back up here. Time being. They're not going to do shit. Problem here is that because they ran into the trees, we can't. A lot of our shots are getting getting blocked. See how badly they got killed. Got more than enough ammunition to kill them like twice over. If they want to come at us in waves, that's preferable to me. Oh shit, 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 I pressed the wrong, I thought I selected something else. I thought I was selecting you. I hope they didn't fuck us up too much. No, we're okay. okay maybe aim for the war hydra. Getting a few kills. It's okay. 
Okay, it doesn't do that much. Okay, maybe... I don't think it's a good angle for these guys. Shoot that. There you go. All archers. Okay. Archers in the center here. Focus fire on that war hydra. Glad that dragon's running away. This is a great terrain for us as well. The exhausted units running up. Oh, it's healing. Okay, all all archers now need to fire upon the uh, upon the hydra. You get out of there. That Hydra is just about dead. The dragon is back there. So once the Hydra is gone... Yeah, the Hydra is gone. Next up, the dragon. Just keeps doing his silly spells. No I might do one myself. Happy to serve. What are they? Didn't really get a good chance to use these in this battle. Because the angle just wasn't quite right. Shoot them. But it definitely looks like the battle's moving in our favor. I mean, we're going to take some casualties because they're breaking through the, the center. Kill him. Archers. Okay, archers, what are we focus firing on? Take these take out the black guard of Nagarond. Okay, Tyrion seems to be winning. Get the cavalry in here. Victories in our grasp. Good. And because they're on force march, everything gets wiped out. Shades, dual weapons. Yeah, shoot that. You charge in here, and I'm sure. Uh, don't use don't use breath because it'll damage my own units. Looks like the army lost penalty has been inflicted. Yeah, the battle's won. Probably will be a pyrrhic victory. Need to get to that settlement. But at least with Malekith out of the way, again, that's what, the fifth time we've killed him? Victory for it's a problem that his armies keep getting better. It's also a bit of a bit of a hand. I can't see what's out this way. 
champion. I didn't actually you lose any units, but of course we're gonna merge some. It's getting closer. We've we've gotta put a stop to this. Okay, there's no one there. The sooner we capture this, the sooner we can move on. Because these guys, they can capture the settlement and then move move straight into, into territory out this way. And that's when we can really start heading towards the heart of Nekar. Alright, so merge these archers. Orders. At your service. I serve the Phoenix King. Lady of Old Thorn. So, two of these and three of these. Ancestor. Bit of replenish, but Tyrion's not in great shape. But I don't expect to see Malekith or any other army for that matter for the bit time. So if we have a look here at um, Dark Elves, 39 regions. How many do I have? 32. Oh, I'm actually not far behind. That's what the AI does. It's programmed to just be like one step ahead of you constantly, pretty much. Cheats. It's like, what? The player's ahead of you? Alright. Here, absorb a faction that has 15 territories. That's right, I said I wanted to, to build that, so cancel that. That can that can be done another time. There's more money to be had in that in that structure. Yeah, fifteen thousand sorry, tw it costs fifteen thousand, but we get twelve hundred out of it. So that'll sorry, it only costs ten thousand, what am I thinking? Um Hang on, let me just see here. That'll be useful right now. Untainted all provinces. I was just thinking if I could reduce the construction cost, but we've already done that one. But extra casualty replenishment and immune to attrition means that we can start walking along here a lot easier. Coming to play yet? Let me just. That's not coming to play. Defender of the asset. It says plus eight percent, but I don't know. Maybe it's only in friendly territory. Albion's looking good, and we can actually still afford that. That's good. So Nagaron's considered a little bit stronger than us. What are they doing? They're coming back. It's a good opportunity to wipe them out while they're there. You know what I'd really like to do? I'd like to send Tyrannok to go and, and okay, put being slow. To go and annoy um the what are they called? Um, the, the, um, he Hexoadl, the Lizardmen, Mazamundi. Okay, well, that's great. Now, let's hope we can make it over there. We won't take attrition on the way now, but it's good. Good, we can get there. What kind of defenses will I have here? Not much. Good. No. Not a very important general to kill, but hybrid weapon specialist. Be good to reset this. For the Ever Queen. Asur, attack. Okay. For I'm sure. I'm sure when we bring in the other army, the we'll be able to resolve it. Protector of the Ever Queen. Can you come in here and actually? No, you can't encamp this turn. At least we I take no go. attrition. None shall live. Pull back, Asur. Okay, the Illyrian Reavers are gone, but it's about time they got to upgrade anyway. 
There will be But what we do, because you'll be able to use the global recruitment, but you won't be. So I'll tell you to go and pick up their You may approach. I don't think we can. Yeah, I can't I can't pick up their they're in out there around the things. It doesn't matter, I'll just get them another time. But good, now that we finally got this province, we want it to grow. There'll be another revolt soon. Get rid of this. It's all be public order. So this is this suffers from the exact same problem that we suffer over here. Now we can actually tax it, keep the public order. Keeps the public order under control. Or we could just ban a few more units. So what I'm thinking of having him do is once once this revolt here is done. Sending you over here to help as well, and having him to cycle between provinces each turn. Defender of the Phoenix Throne. I don't want you in the army. Just to stay out here. Guide me. Your word. So yeah, we can use the global recruitment from this turn. If we're going to use the global recruitment, we should recruit the unit that we can't recruit here. But they are quite expensive. Oh well. Okay, both of them leveled up. What do you need? You're all good on the campaign side of things. There's no extra health for these elves. Star Dragon. So Star Dragon has more armor. I'm assuming more health. Less charge bonus, more weapon strength. Of everything. Alright. What's what's your upkeep cost? Let's see how much it goes up by. 824. Oh my god. It better be worth it. A thousand just for that one unit. Alright, what do you need? I guess Rally would help. At least we've got the money. But to have the units in this are so much more expensive than in Warhammer 1. Imminent Rebellion over here. It's okay, you'll be ready. I know you're still missing a unit. Could have recruited for, for, you, for her, but she can handle this with what she's got. And then I might get her moving. With three armies moving through Nagarond, I should be able to conquer Nagarond fairly quickly. I'm gonna get through Nagarond, get to get to the Lizardmen before they start their final or before they start the second final, um, Thing. Oh no, I might I might even try to get a peace treaty with Nagaroth. Sand is behind. So also, looking at this, how's the public order been holding up? It's been gradually going down consistently. A little bit of corruption here doesn't help. It's almost ready to grow. Which will give us an additional three public order. And man, we're really not supposed to hold on to these regions. It was it was not this hard at all to be able to hold on to. Just a bit when I was playing as the um, as uh, the, the Dark Elves, maybe it was just because of normal difficulty. I was I was able to like hit these, these inhospitable regions and then just keep moving the exact same turn. I didn't have to stay there for, for like 50 turns managing these settlements, just waiting for the growth to come, catch up. Time is of the essence. Uh, sir, we fight. It doesn't matter. Hold the captain! We stand ready.
ready for action. What would you have? Public good is under control, but I feel a nip. Yes, we need, need this. Can I offer assistance? Awaiting orders. Protect our monster. So over here, we still. It's still just frozen tundra, but at least it's actually considered suitable climate, which I find weird. So there are new admirals. But the sooner we start, you know, conquering core territories out here, these being suitable won't require huge public order penalties. This is where we can start actually making money in inhospitable territory. Alright, you come over here. Because you need to encamp. Alariel guides me. Protector of the Everqueen. Okay, I don't think I need to recruit anymore. Doesn't seem like there's a huge amount of resistance out here. I mean, that'll go down to minus five soon. Maybe I should send you over here just to maintain public order. Let's, let's continue building this army up. We've got the money for it. What do we need? Actually, go with... Go with these. Because it'll be cheaper, much cheaper doing it this way than th through global recruitment. And then next turn I want them moving towards Toranlek. You stay here until you're no longer insane. Oh, it's gone. Why didn't it tell me? Or oh, whatever. Um, I know the way. But I'm just glad that it's gone. Who else became insane? It was... It was you. You were insane. That'll go away in time, you need to just stay in a region, home region. Well, there's still lots of corruption here, so... That'll take time. So don't take this. Let's see, if you weren't in the... Alright, oh, I see. This He's still providing a lot of public order. I, I Leave it there for the time being, but we just need to wait and see what happens. Alright. So over here, upgrade this, put the cash, and let's move on. Right, yeah, we gotta reduce upkeep costs. So Nagarond is considered just as strong as us. So they've got only to fall from here because I've got all the regions that were holding us back. These were some very difficult regions to take because of the winter attrition and um, chaos corruption and just public order problems have been a nightmare. But now we're going to have, I think, four armies will be able to descend into Nagarond. Good, we can actually make it to Shagrath. I'm waiting for the Phoenix King. Let's do it. Mine. King and it's time Tyree. for a reckoning to come for them. They're too powerful. By the I don't gods. like it. It's time for me to become more powerful. Essentially, I've got full control over over Ulf one. For the Ever Queen. I'm just glad these will be hospitable Asura, towards attack. us. Mine. Rally to me, Asura. Good, minimal Victory damage. For the Asura. I won't actually loot this one. The them. money just wasn't worth it. Behold, Elvor, Elvor my queen. He's, he's a good distance away from getting this. It's, it's taken a while because they don't have that many regions. They were able to move rapidly because of how many regions, but just able, luckily able to thwart them so many times. Princess of the Asteroid. It wasn't, wasn't even me though, to be honest. Um, what do you need? Yeah, missile. Oh, there you go. Immortality. Now this person can never die. 
What is dead can never die. Well, you're not dead either. Yeah. Alright, so public order here has improved slightly. And will continue to improve again. Public order here isn't good. Alright, now what I want to do... You've got a bard. I want you to get rid of that. Because... I want you to have the bard. You're going to be my public order bitch. Oh, I see. You can't have two of the same thing. Wait, is that... Let me just... We'll just see about that. Alright. Obviously that didn't help public order. If it was a revolt, you know, they can handle it. Defender of the Ever Queen. This is against tradition. Faithful so servant. So you... I need you to get over here. Could revolt there soon. Guardian of the Phoenix Crown. I got one more turn. All needed to to get him back up to full strength. Well, not back up, but get him to full strength. So okay, we've also hit an hour and a half. So I'll start wrapping up the episode. So spearman and spearman. Good. White lines don't actually cost that much to recruit. It's just. The upkeep costs. Don't worry, soon we'll be getting the, the good units. I think we won't raise another army until all of our armies that are mobile, as in not maintaining public order, have been upgraded. Alright, Elven Embassy. What else is there that we could use? There's nothing else we really need here, so I grab that. Okay, so we've got this. Good, I guess. Alright, moving on to the next turn, and then we'll end the episode there. Yeah, I have a feeling things are going to go much smoother as we've gone through Nagrod. As soon as we get out of the snow, and slow which to forgive. pretty much everywhere is full of snow. Now he wants a peace tree. But now's, now's our time to crush him. He's too strong. And this this is where I actually start making profit. All of that other shit up there has been not profitable at all. But it had to be done. I can't have the enemy behind me while we're coming out this way. And eventually, I'm sure they'll be able to leave. We just have to invest a hell of a lot money, more money than we're going to get out of it. So yeah, these are incapable of... Actually, I can wipe you out. None shall live. You can't get away far enough. Okay, so let's kill this and then end the episode. Difficult for them to get more of. Well, not necessarily difficult, but. I could get rid of this one as well. Why not? Where's he going? Oh, beautiful. Because that's the. That's the last one, I think. Rally to me, Asur. Bit of damage, but still worth it because that's 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 hard to replace because it just it's, they essentially just lost a horde. That thing has been growing for ages. They've probably had that for upwards of eighty turns. Next time they recruit one, it's at level one. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe. Part seven is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.